Rodolf is in hospital, but he's quite happy to be there. At last, he's donating bone marrow. For 13 years, he's waited to be declared compatible with a patient, to save a stranger's life, wherever he or she may be in the world. Today, I am very proud, because, in fact, it's something that I had been waiting for, ever since I registered as a potential donor. For three hours, Rodolphe's blood is filtered to extract bone marrow stem cells, which were released into his bloodstream with the help of medication. Another method would have been to extract them surgically, a minor and painless intervention. Dr. Mary manages the French bone marrow donation register. Her mission, finding donors who are compatible with the bone marrow of children with immune deficiencies, for example, or adults suffering from blood diseases. Each year, about 15, each year, about 15,000 bone marrow transplants are done throughout the world. These are only possible thanks to this international solidarity. As more donors sign up on the registers, more people will volunteer to donate their bone marrow, and more patients will be able to benefit from a transplant. Jan is 26. He owes his life to a donation. Two years ago, he was a young medical student, when suddenly his life turned upside down. He was diagnosed with leukemia. He needed a bone marrow transplant urgently, but in his family no one was genetically compatible. Obviously my brothers and sisters wanted to give me their bone marrow so that I would be cured. But in the end, it was a complete stranger who saved me. Somebody I never met, never will meet, and who will never meet me. And yet I owe that somebody my life. Qui ne me rencontrera jamais. Malgré tout, je lui dois la vie. Jan now wants to spend his life saving other people. He is studying hard for his medical exams so that one day it can be his turn to save someone else.